I thought that that was just a no-brainer. I would do that shit a million times. Which I agree. I think that was the best decision for him to probably win a championship, back-to-back -back championships. Because it improves his legacy. He's probably around top 15 player of all time. Somewhere around there. And before that, he probably wasn't because he didn't have any championships. So I think that was probably the best option for his career. And a state OKC would be kind of wasting his career, really. Unless they added someone else, which would maybe change it, but who knows. But if James Harden would have been there, it probably would have been different. He would probably stayed longer, I'm guessing. And maybe Russ Westbrook would have left. Who knows what would happen at that point. At full strength, nobody can beat us. I'm just going to leave that there. This is James Harden time about if the Nets are full strength, that no one can beat them. Would you think so? I don't know. I feel like, yeah, they're probably... At full strength, it would be very hard to beat them. But I don't think they're really unbeatable. It's them and the Lakers. You can just go back and forth on who you want to win. But obviously, he's going to say that at full strength, no one can beat them because he's on the team. But do you think he's going to win the East this year? Do you think they're going to win the Eastern Conference Championship or no? LeBron James, 96. Kevin Durant, 96. Giannis is a 96, Steph Curry is a 95, and Kawhi Leonard's a 95. LeBron sent out a tweet saying Kevin Durant should be a 99, and shows it's Steph Curry, but I think if I was him, I'd probably send out a tweet and Giannis should be a 99 too. I think LeBron should probably be a 99 as well, but I think 2K probably can't really do the 99 club thing because that's more of a Madden type thing. They probably have copyright over that, so that's probably why they didn't do a 99 for all these people. And do you think LeBron deserves it? Because a lot of people are saying no. I think he does. I think he's still playing at an elite level this stage in his career. I think he definitely deserves to be a 96. I'll probably put him a 99 on all those players. Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, and Giannis. And maybe a, Steph Curry is probably going to be the best shooter in this year's game too. And do you think that Kawhi Leonard deserves his rating? Because most likely he's not going to be in this playing this year so he's probably not gonna be on the active lineup who knows though sometimes in 2k you can have injury free rosters or something like that 